What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be streaming some Pokemon trading card game online action this morning. Still back to standard format. Excited to be back in the work week here. Back on my schedule after two weeks of traveling around all over the place for those expanded regionals. Really stoked to just be back on my grind, back to content creation. I got a bunch of ideas for some YouTube videos I want to whip up as well. And just really excited to be back streaming. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do. So this is uh, this is very cool for me to be back here at Full Grip Games, just, uh, just streaming and doing what I love to do, honestly. I do love to play in tournaments, don't get me wrong. Absolutely love it, one of my favorite things as well. However, it is just downright exhausting traveling to tournament after tournaments and then coming right back into the work week for sure. However, uh, when your work week is playing Pokemon cards or working, you know, uh, for full grip, you know, it's not, not so bad. <laughs> so I can't really complain. What's up, Jay Walker? Drop us some codes in the chat for the early birds this morning. And I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to play some standard. We're going to have some fun today. Might mix it up with some different decks. Might try, I don't know, to get in there with like Lost March or something like that. We'll see. I think that what Lost March has to be playing uh, has to be playing the Amolga engine now. That's for sure. Charizard. I think there was like a Charizard deck that did well, right? So I might check that out and see if that Charizard list that did well. I think it was in Europe somewhere. Maybe we could play a little bit of that. What's up, Natalie? Welcome, guys. Welcome. Let's see if I can find that Charizard. Um. Yeah, from the, how do you say it? The cans, canes, can't. I'm really showing my Americanness right now. From the cans, cons, regional championship. All right, let's see. I think this might actually be the list that I have here. Boom. All right, so we're gonna import the list. This might just be it right here. I see uh, there is an Alola Nine Tails line in it. Ooh, there's a Flareon GX. You're telling me I need a Flareon? Hmm cans. Thank you, James. It's just the cans. It's not cons. <laughs> it's just cans. All right. Yeah, we need a Flareon. All right. And then we can uh, play this Charizard deck. That seems kind of cool. Sure. So I'm going to find myself a Flareon real quick. What's up, Rogue? What's up, guys? Thank you, Almighty Hitmonchan, for the host. Appreciate it. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the old trades this morning. See if I can't find myself a Flareon GX. It shouldn't be that hard to find, right? I am getting a Flareon. Flareon GX. Would not, oh, that wouldn't work, huh? Just, you know, I typed in cards. I'm getting a Flareon, and that was that was just too, too much for you, huh? I don't know why. Sometimes it just, like, will tell you, wow, 25 packs. Hmm, that seems like a lot, my guys. That also seems like a lot. You guys are asking for a lot for this. Oof, or a Jolteon. See, you tripping. You big tripping, dude. You want one of my Jolteons for a Flareon? I don't think so. A Zerora, huh? Hmm, you got the wrong Flareon. Jagger Pit calling <laughs> Gym Rats. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, we could always trade for a Jolteon and just get another one later. Who needs two Jolteons? Only ever really play one, right? You only really play one Jolteon. I could probably get another Jolteon. I really want to play this Charizard deck. Oh, you're asking for way too much, my man. You're not even giving me the right Flareon. Ridiculous. All right, let's see. Also, also the wrong Flareon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Ah. Uh, hmm. I can probably find myself another Jolteon, right? I don't need to. What deck plays two Jolteon? Ain't no deck play two Jolteon, bro. Here we go. Boom, we got it. Pokemon, please give me an unlocked account so I don't have to make compromising trades like this. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. All right, we got the Charizard deck. Let's see. Whose list is this? This is, I think, some uh, very... Anthony Cognard. Thank you, Anthony. This is Anthony 
Anthony Zard. Anthony Zard. There we go. Boom. We got it. Deck box. We could give it a nice deck box. Like the ones that I enjoy using. Just the fire. Can you just give me the fire one? There we go. Busted. Ready to roll. Let's play some Zard this morning, guys. Are right, we going to star that one? Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, that's relevant. Ben's Coco. Eh, that's, that's like not so relevant anymore. All right. Buzz Zap. That's fine. Jolt Dug. Zap Dug. Zorak. Buzz Zap. Anthony Zard. Yep. Sounds good. Y'all ready for some Charizard this morning? Let's get it. You're able to filter trades by set and number, which can be helpful for getting the right version of the card. Yes, E Parks, E Sparks, E Parks. Yeah, I kind of know that. I just uh, I always kind of prefer to wing it. I don't know. But we got Flare Dog in the house. That's right. Let's play some games with Charizard this morning. See if we can win anything. About to just ruin this nice old win streak we got here. A little win streak of three. Oh yeah, there's a Charizard coin. I could be using as well. I think that seems pretty dope, right? All right, here's Charmander. I know Matt Price, one of my coworkers and good friends, hates the big nose Charizard. He was at or Charmander. He was asking me when the set came out what Charmander was the correct Charmander, and I was like, dude, it's this one. He's got 70 hit points. Duh. He's like, well, I think this Charmander looks silly. It's got a big nose. Don't make fun of his big nose. Just saying, this Charmander is super cute. All right, looks very cool. Oh, what's up, Dankus? Good morning, good morning, y'all. Welcome to the Strem, Strem Life. Busted start, honestly. What more do we want? Playing against a Zapdos deck. Now, I do think that Zapdos, a little bit of a tough matchup for us, unfortunately. But we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to drop a couple more codes in the chat. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Appreciate you. And we'll see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a bunch of hit points, which is good. So if we can attack sometimes without using Roaring Resolve, it could be tough for a Zapdos deck to deal with us. Also, if they have to put down a Pokemon GX or something, that can also be tough. I will go and grab the Absol. I think I did see an Absol in the list. That's good for us as well. So we'll see if we can get that Absol into play. And if that will potentially help, for sure. So, yeah, I guess, man, we're close to being able to knock out a Jirachi turn one as well. Ember does 30 damage. Jirachi's weak to fire. We almost got there. But not, not quite, unfortunately. I think that Charizard is an awesome deck. I think this, this deck is, like, super dope. You can obviously just, like... Smoke Show, some bigger GX Pokemon, Zorks, Tag Teams, uh, Blacephalons. But you do struggle with these. Ooh, check that out. I didn't know we played a Vulpix. That's pretty dope. All right. You can struggle with some other things. Let's see. We got the Absol, Muy Bien, Drachi. Because we play Ninetales. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Honestly, the Absol is like good, but I should just be safe and get myself the Jirachi and then we'll put the Shrine down just to get it out of my deck. And then Cynthia, hoping to find... Wow! Dude, look how sick this deck is. This deck is honestly flames. We've got a Switch. I can Stellar Wish. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's do that. And yeah, we're just gonna, just gonna Stellar Wish. An Ultra Ball is pretty good. Could go get myself some things. Could Ultra Ball away a Guzma and a Fire Energy. Yeah, to get myself, I think, the Absol. I think we want the Absol in play to help slow my opponent down here. Kind of seems correct. Sure. This might be a little aggressive on my part. But oh well, oh well. We're gonna figure it out. Let's get that Absol out here. And then we are also going to attach our fire to our best Charmander and go from there. Seems pretty, pretty boosted. All right. Sweet. Oh, thank you, JW, for the encouragement. Appreciate you. 
Andrew, what's going on? How do you feel about Garchomp and Giratina GX? Well, let me wander on over to Polka Beach. I did see that there were some new uh, new cards being dropped, right? New cards being revealed, which is pretty cool. And then they were like blurring out images on like the Drift Blim and, uh, and also blurring out images on what, the other Pokemon? They like blurred out some things in the backgrounds of the cards. And according to Poke Beach, they think that it could be a Raichu and a Lolan Raichu Tag Team GX, which is pretty cool. I see here what we got, GG End, something like that. Sun and Moon 10 has officially been revealed on an official Pokemon card website. Sweet. So we got Garchomp and Giratina GX for one colorless linear attack. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's not bad. For a 270 hit point basic Pokemon, I know that Otto is going to be pretty excited. He loves dragons. So that's, I'm, I am going to say, I'm going to put this out there, all right? Not a fan of the artwork on this card. I think he looks a little goofy. Very, very goofy. They look like they're, I don't know, dancing in the wind or something. For any of you guys that have seen this, it's just extraordinarily goofy, to be honest. All right. I mean, I, I feel like now I have to, like, show you guys what I'm looking at here. I mean, let's, if you guys haven't seen the, the card already, I'm going to just link you to where I'm at. Here's where I am. All right, apparently I'm out here getting knocked out. Not cool, all right? Not cool. Not cool. Let's just promote this Terminator. I think, yes, they, <laughs> oh my gosh, who said Titanic? Sir Pandage, that's the ho most hilarious thing. They are, they're Titanic pose out there. They look like they're on, like, the bow of the Titanic. <laughs> Oh, that is too funny, my dude. That is way too funny. No way. All right. Let's uh let's Lily for 5. Pretty busted. Okay. Okay, pretty pretty sick. Not going to lie. I could just knock this thing out with a Charizard without using my ability, which is pretty good. So, let's just do that. Let's Ultra Ball away switch in the escape board. And then I think I just go for the Charizard and hope that they, like, can't hit uh, can't hit 150. That's what we're going to do. We're going to say, you know what? If you got it, my man, you've got it. We're not going to run reserve. We're just going to continue to play ball for knockout 130. And this is, like, the most difficult thing for a Zapdos deck to deal with, really, is a huge non-GX Pokemon. So we're going to hope that they can't do it. All right. Back to reading about Garchomp and Gear Team. Linear attack, 40 damage, snipe, love it. Colorless energy, love it. Calamity Edge, 160 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has damage counters on it, this attack does 80 more damage. I right off rip don't love that. I, I hate that as like an attack requirement, that they want damage counters on it already. That's like... Ugh, I, I don't really love that. It also costs a Psychic and a Fighting for it. So, obviously, that does pair decently with the Distortion Door Giratina. You could pop it out and put damage counters on somebody, right? And then this Calamity Edge can do 240 damage. That actually is pretty significant, but they have to have a damage counter on them already. Which, you know, for three energy is not bad. However, it is like a very obnoxious attack requirement. Psychic fighting colorless. All right. And then there's GG and GX. Discard one opponent's Pokemon and all cards attached to them. Wow. Uh, if this Pokemon has at least three extra fighting energy attached to it. Fighting? Yikes. Uh, discard two of your opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Dude, this man can just discard two of your opponent's Pokemon. That's insane. All right, that's a very, very powerful GX attack. However, the attack cost is a little obnoxious. So uh, that, the card is inherently powerful. Obviously, Calamity Edge does pair with Linear Attack. You could soften up, uh, soften up Pokemon with Linear Attack and then go in with Calamity Edge and take that knockout. I think the card might end up being stronger and expanded where you have double dragon energy. I'm just saying that kind of like off the top of my head. Like, 
probably, I mean, with the psychic fighting requirement there, obviously you can put fighting energy in your Malamar deck, but I'm not sure that, I mean, his, like, extra attack GX thing goes better with more fighting energy, which is much harder to accelerate. So I'm not exactly paying attention, too much attention to what my opponent's doing over here, but I'm pretty sure they're losing. They didn't get double, triple electro power, did they? Ain't no way they got it like that. Uh, they hit me for 110. Boom! All right, we did it. We were able to swing this matchup back. I can Roaring Resolve for two, right? Okay, so we're going to take the lead here. That's fantastic. Uh, Roaring Resolve, and then I put, what? Two damage counters. Search your deck for two fire energy. Yes, so I can do it without knocking myself out. Very good. All right, so we're going to get one, two. Go there. We are probably going to have to transition into Flareon eventually. So, oh, busted, honestly. This is very good. Ah, this deck plays an Energy Recycler too? Oh, man, that is way exciting. Okay. I think I will put down a Jirachi as well. And, yeah, we're just going to continue his ball, and then I'll Energy Recycler next turn. I didn't even know we played an Energy Recycler. This deck is... Insane. Great list. All right, let's continue this baseball here. Goodbye, Zapdos. Hello, prize cards. Fantastic. Another Lily. Perfect. So, we also got a Heatran GX over here. Let's drop another code in the chat. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Appreciate you. Eh, we'll drop, like, three. We got a ton of codes here. We'll put, like, three codes down. See what Heatran GX does. All right, let me know in the chat. I want to hear your opinions on Heatran. Press one in the chat if you think Heatran is extraordinarily ugly. Press two in the chat if you think Heatran is cool. All right. Press three if you think both. All right. One for ugly, two for cool, three for both. I'm talking about Heatran. Okay, I want to know your opinions, chat. One for ugly, two for cool, and three for both. All right, if you haven't seen the new Heatran GX, here he is on Poke Beach right now. You can check him out. I'm thinking that Heatran is a little, little bit of an Ugo. I mean, he's a Pokemon that only a mother could love, all right? I mean, look at this dude. Like, what is your deal, my man? You've got, like, what looks like a frying pan lid for a hat. You've got some ugly, metallic-looking teeth, okay? There's nothing. <laughs> His body looks like a, like a skinless cow or, like, a hairless cow or something. Like, just very... Ugh. And then he's got this big pink tongue. <laughs> like, there is nothing appealing about this man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, it's coolness is being ugly. I could see that. All right, it's time for me to read. I'm going to read the Heat Tran GX. Now, I also should mildly pay attention to what my opponent is doing over here so that I can actually close this game out and win. But I am also having just a lot of fun reading about these new Pokemon cards, so we can do that as well. All right. I'm a little more comfortable here. Electro Bullet, please. Don't do that. Bro, Harry Drummer, whose Weavile emote is that? Whose man is that? Who's Pock Weavile? Twitch Prime emotes. I love this. That is so nice. I love that Weavile emote. All right. Ooh. They are sniping my mans there. Okay, don't like what you did there, sir. Not a big fan of uh, you sniping my Vulpix. Yeah, I'm going to have to just be honest there. think that that's a little bit obnoxious. Okay, so we're going to have to take two prizes here eventually. We can't knock it out with Charizard this turn. He could do actually, no, do 130. I would need an extra fire. It's just not happening. So... We kind of just promote the Vulpix, right? Oh, geez. Ah, well, 
We'll promote Chirachi and then we'll go from there. So first things first, we have to Roaring Resolve and get some more fire energies onto this guy. And then we will Stellar Wish and see if we can't find anything else. And Ultra Ball is good. Okay. So if I evolve this thing, I just don't really think that I should bother. Oh, I'm on my opponent's Sledgehammer turn too, which is just like kind of gnarly. It's not really what I want. So let's see here. We definitely are going to have to Energy Recycler. That will allow me to draw more cards if I find a... Oh, Attach Roaring Resolve Choice Bane. Oh, that will do it. I guess you're right, Riley. Oh, yeah, I could do it. All right, let's go for it. I was thinking that for some reason I can't, I can't get there, but I can totally get there. We just need to find a Fire Energy and a Choice Bane. Do we play Choice Bane? Oh, we got one. All right, we, we got one. All right, so we're going to go here. Thank you, Riley, the voice of reason. I don't know why I was like, my math wasn't adding up in my head for some reason. We're going to get these fellas, and then we're going to Lily, and we just need to find a fire energy, and that actually will just do it. Thank you, Zach Pra, for those bits. Appreciate you, Zach. Thank you. You rock. All right, and then we need to Lily and just need to find a fire energy. Busted. And we're there. So my opponent is a goner. That's uh, that's right. All right, we can even Heat Factory for some more cards if we want to, but I don't actually think that... Eh, sure. We'll draw more cards. Get a bigger hand. Okay, sure. Go get him, Charizard. And we're just going to, like, win this game. Like, that. that just was too easy, honestly. We do have a GX on our side of the field now. But we're so far ahead in the prize trade that I <laughs> don't think that my opponent's going to be able to keep up. It's pretty insane, honestly. This Charizard list is very, very good. Not going to lie. All right, let's read Heatran GX. It's got an ability, Burning Road. Once during your turn before you attack, this Pokemon is on your bench. It became your active Pokemon. You may move any number of Fire Energy cards attached to your Pokemon to this Pokemon. All right, so he brings... All the fire energies to himself when he switches to the active. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm kind of into that. That's cool. And then an attack, explosive stamp for two fire and a colorless 130 damage. Ah, only 130. Nothing else. Okay. And then heat bomber GX, 50 damage times. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of fire energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. So. Uh, okay, I mean, the Heatran GX isn't really, isn't really impressing me all too much. I think the Burning Road ability is good, right? Being able to just, like, bring energy to itself, definitely strong. Um, I guess, you know, I mean, I just, like, thinking about other cards, it's not my Charizard list. This is the guy who top 32 the Cans Regional, okay? It's not my, not my list. This is top 32 cans list. So I think that uh, his name's Anthony, I believe. This is Anthony's Charizard list. Dankus, stall man, you don't actually want to see. Listen, a lot of you guys are at work. You don't want to fall asleep at your desks, right? Me playing some stall deck. <laughs> I think... You know, when you compare Heatran GX, like apples to apples with other good fire Pokemon in the past, you think about, like, Volcanion EX, right? Volcanion EX just did way more. You could boost fire Pokemon's attack damage output, you know. I don't know, 130 just isn't quite doing it for me. It's just a weird number. You know, is there any way to boost it? In standard form, okay. Now we do have to take into consideration we're getting a bunch of fire buffs in our next set, so I'm not super familiar with what all those fire buffs are going to be yet. So I do need to actually look those up and <laughs> and see what what the dealio is with those. 
Have we gotten all of our stuff from, uh, what, Metal Wall? Is it Unbroken Bonds? All right, I'm going to look up Unbroken Bonds and see what's in this. What is actually in this set, right? See, there's the Japanese equivalent, right? They kind of are like of what we're going to be getting. I don't know. There's like the Restoram and Charizard, Mar Shadow, Machamp, Muck, and Alolan Muck. Um, Whimsicott GX, bro. Whimsicott GX. Yes. <laughs> From Olorantis. Thank you. Thank you, Desert Rat. <laughs> You're right. You're not wrong, right? Whimsicott GX. Fluffy Cotton. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, flip a coin of heads, prevent that damage. Busted Abilitai. Respect my Abilitai. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh too good don't let loose me bro don't do that man it's just like can't you see I'm trying to win this game quickly hmm welder what does welder do we'll look up welder I am a big whimsicott fan though I will say that I'm very excited about this whimsicott GX it's got an attack, Energy Blow. This attack does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. So you're saying if you have a bunch of Fairy on it, six Fairy, you're going to do 190 damage. Eh, right? That's, like, not that great. But there are, like, decks that move Fairy energy around, right? <laughs> and then Toy Box GX. Search your deck for up to five cards and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I would like this guy better if he was a basic Pokemon. Unfortunately, Whimsicott is a stage one with only 190 hit points. But, you know, I don't know. It's not inherently bad. Making your opponent flip every time they want to attack it is, like, definitely annoying. I just don't think that, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that it's going to be, you know, meta or anything. All right, what is my opponent actually doing? Here they go. All right, they got the Tapu Koko GX. Uh, let's focus in here and see what we're dealing with. They've got a GX here in the active. They have limited me. Okay. Oh, I have not GX attacked yet. What does the Flareon GX do? I'm actually going to look up what Flareon GX does. Let's see. Because I think like that GX attack does like 20 damage times the amount... But I don't want to put this guy down and like look for it unless I know. Let's see. This attack does 20 damage for each fire energy in your discard pile. All right. So I need 10 in my discard pile in order to knock this thing out in one hit. That's like asking for a lot, I think. I don't have 10 down. I have four. So that's like a decent number. Let's start off with a good old heat factory. Did I discard the Flareon? I did. Ah, thank you. Well... Well, well, well. We've got a rescue stretcher. There's the Flareon. Okay. 20 damage reach fire energy in the discard pile. Sure. And then we could always Stellar Wish. I could Nest Ball. Let's see what else we could do. Okay. I don't have, like, a rare candy yet. We could Heat Stage. You may attach up to three battery energy cards to your Pokemon. Whoa! Heat Stage is insane! Okay. I mean, you just need, like, a bunch of fires in your hand, though. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's nest ball. Let's see what, just, like, what's options? I need to see, like, what options are in my deck. Okay. What do we actually have in here? Cynthia, Guzma, three fires left in deck. No Ultra Balls in deck. Oh, there's one Ultra Ball. Okay. All right. That's cool. Then we are also going to Stellar Wish before I... Okay, we can get Cynthia here. That's pretty good. I think that it's probably about Flareon time. Okay, so we're going to shuffle three back in. We're going to get boom, boom, and probably that fella too. Okay, that's what we got. Shuffle those back in the deck. It's Flareon hours. Real Flareon hours. Let's go, Flareon. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we'll do that. 
And then let's Cynthia. I guess I should have just gone for the Charizard play, but it's all good. <laughs> I think I probably am like cool here. No matter what, I ended up hitting the Rare Candy Charizard off of the Cynthia. It's all good. Let's see here. How many do I actually have in the discard pile? I mean, like, I'm going to get it to the point where five, six, seven, like, I'll have more in my discard pile anyway. So, it's all good. We're just going to flare, yeah, roaring resolve here. Let's get some more. Whoa, dude. That's actually pretty horrible. I drew into my final energy. So, we're not attacking with that guy. Looks like we're just going to have to... I could heat stage. That's kind of cool. Right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's heat stage. Sure. Does 30 damage. And then I can, like... Yeah, yeah. And then I can, like, look for... Yeah, we'll just heat stage. That way... Put those on the charger. Sure. That way, if my opponent knocks me out with the Tapu Koko, I've got the Charizard built up, ready to take the win. If they knock out the Charizard, then they send three fire energies to the discard pile, and I take the win with Flareon GX. Boom. I don't really care if my opponent Tapu Thunder GXs me. If they leave this thing active, I win, because I have set it up so that I can knock them out with either Flareon or Charizard. I've got it both ways. So the only way that they ha they can stay in the game is by knocking out a Pokemon with not Tapu Koko GX. So we should just be fine, right? I think we're just, just fine, right? Oh well, Riley. You know we out here we out here reading translations today. I think I mean, we are just cruising through this game though. Charizard is like getting us there. This Flareon GX completely busted. Love this thing. Heat stage, man. Absolutely insane. -er. So yeah, they take this knockout with Charizard. I'll have like eight fire energy in my discard pile, right? And I think that's it, right? Yeah. Eight times two should just should just do it. Uh, they don't even have to tap with Thunder GX. They'll just Sky High Claws. But they don't have any other attackers on their bench that can do anything. They have these buzzwolves, like those cannot sledgehammer for anything right now. So they might just like stick themselves. Yeah, they're gonna scoop because they probably forgot about Absol to be honest. So we're uh, we're cool in here. All right. We've got it even bigger. Let's go in uh, one more game with Charizard, right? One more game. We'll drop a couple more codes here into the chat. And I'm going to read some more cards from Unbroken Bonds. Get myself a little more familiar with the upcoming set. What's up, Mr. Marco? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got coming up in Unbroken Bonds. I think I'm the most excited about the new Buzzwool and Feramosa. I think that card looked sick, right? Uh, it's like a Buzzwool GX, just like bigger and grass type. <laughs> it's just like way bigger. It's not even close. Yeah, no basics there. It's a pretty good starting hand, though, otherwise. All right, I'll take it. I had someone in one of my YouTube videos comment and tell me that they tried doing the... Uh, like putting a new card in your deck and saving it and then seeing how many games they opened it out of 20. And they said they, they opened that card 20 games out of 20 games on PTCGO, right? I've talked about this quite a bit, the fact that PTCGO is constructed so that if you put a new card in your list, you're going to start it almost every game. Uh, it's, you know, it's not cool. I mean, honestly, it kind of messes with the integrity of the platform, which is a little bit of a bummer, right? I get that potentially it's there to get younger or newer players more excited about the new cards they put in their deck because they get to see them right away. But it completely messes with the integrity of the platform and needs to be fixed. So I was thinking about making a video on the topic, 
right? And showing it on YouTube as a problem because it is a problem. I don't know if anybody's made a like a YouTube exposing a YouTube video exposing the issue yet. So I was thinking about doing that and uploading it to the channel. That might not make Pokemon like me very much, but honestly, their platform needs fixed, so it's fine. <laughs> you know, they need to they need to fix it. <laughs> so it's like I'm just looking out for them, really. So if they get if they get mad at me for you know for talking about the bugs in their platform bugs i think it's intentionally intentionally programmed in there but if they get mad at me for talking about that then yeah well you know if they don't like criticism criticism is helpful it's going to be meaning to be helpful criticism right not just like not going to be mean about it i'm just going to talk about it and that it needs fixed <laughs> so that's the uh that's the game plan anyway let's see there's also a persian gx Dusk Stone, Fire Crystal. Ooh, I do want to read what Fire Crystal does. Now, Amphi, it's not, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's real. Anybody who's been playing this game for a long time can tell you that if you put a new card in your deck, you're probably going to start it. It's not, just, it's not just feels, you know? It's not just like, oh, I only remember the times that I start that card. It's like it actually happens. Like, it's crazy. I think it's real, right? I'm just saying, like, I've noticed it, like, a ton. So I would, I would, uh, it's not just me that said it, right? Like, the fact that it's been replicated and other people have also said it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just, like, an increased percentage chance of starting it. Like, maybe the odds of starting a new card are doubled, right? But even so, that's still, like, kind of messed up. I've been playing this game for, like, five or six years, and I've noticed it's, like, always a thing. So... All right. Yeah, we're just going to get ourselves a Charmander. Potentially should have gotten a... I think we attach this here. I can beacon. That's fine. I think I don't want a beacon, though. I would, like, ideally like to... My opponent's already got a GX out. That's cool. Yeah, let's attach here. And Lily for four. Okay. So we did get a Jirachi, which is good. I'll retreat. And we're looking for, like, another Nest Ball or something. Ultra Ball's fine. Take it. And then just get myself. It's tough, actually. I think I kind of have to, like, hold on. Yikes. I mean, I could wait and get an Alolan Ninetales next turn. I think if I go Charmander, I kind of am, like, burning myself. So, yeah, because I don't have, like, any other draw options in this deck. If my opponent knocks out my Jirachi, though, I can Rescue Stretcher it back and put it back into the active position, which is cool. Yeah. I'm actually just going to wait with that hand. Okay. Uh, I'm just saying, yes, I've heard it from multiple people. Uh, I don't know if it's a thing. That's why I want to make a video, right? Because I want to, I want it to say yeah, Mythbusters, right? That's what I'm talking about, Captain Crunk. So I'm going to just try it in a controlled setting. I'm going to try it, like, and see what percentage of games I start a new card that I just put into a list. And then, you know, I'm going to weigh that against what are the odds of starting a random card, right? What are the odds of starting a random card that you put in your list? So, looks like my opponent's going to be knocking out my Charmander this turn. But that, ooh, actually no, they're going to Volkner. That's good. That means that my Charmander gets to survive, and if they knock out my Jirachi with Jolteon, then I could punish that with a Charizard. However, if they swift run my Jirachi, then I have to Guzma, which is still fine. I can still do just fine if I Guzma this turn. Just is a little bit more uh, sketchy. Right? So let's see what we got going on here. My opponent, ooh, Thunder Mountain. They're going to attack with the Jolteon. And I doubt they'll swift run GX. No, they're just going to headbolt. Little do they know, they are uh, really, 
really gonna get punished here for that. Let's promote that Charmander. Yeah. And just take this uh, swift old knockout here. See what we got going on. All right, so we can Ultra Ball for the Nine Tails. Get myself Rare Candy Ultra Ball off the Nine Tails. Sure. I think that's the play. I'm gonna Ultra Ball these. Get myself. Don't be prized. Thank you. I won't want Nine Tails. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna go here. And we're going to need Rare Candy and Ultra Ball. Sick. Then we're going to Ultra Ball. This deck plays a lot of Energy Recyclers. Like, I'm probably fine. Oh, boy. The Guzma can probably go. Okay. Okay. No, the Guzma's good. That's going to help me get, like... No. Yeah, the Guzma and the Energy Recycler can go. That's fine. We're going to get ourselves another Charizard. We're actually kind of running out of those a little bit. And then yeah, I'm also going to Rescue Stretcher back. One of these. Just to have on my bench so that maybe I can respond next turn. Rare Candy into Charizard. Got the Choice Band. Got the Fire Energy. Got the Roaring Resolve. And we got, yeah, we got it all. That's that's it, right? Boom. Bada boom, bada bing. And then, uh, yeah, there's nothing really left in my discard pile to Rescue Stretcher, but might need that next turn. Blaze Ball. We don't have the most sturdy setup right now, but I am taking a prize lead, so that's nice. Getting the nest ball there off the prizes is very good. I could potentially get like a bunch of fires in my discard pile and maybe like use Flareon GX next turn. Uh, the cool thing about this is if my opponent targets down my Alolan Ninetales GX, they leave my Charizard in play, which is very good. That would be, <laughs> that would be great. This is super all in, yeah. So I didn't really have a backup plan, but my hand didn't have a draw supporter. So I don't really know what else there was, you know? I mean, didn't have a draw supporter in that hand. I could have, like, I guess, guzma into Jirachi. It just kind of felt bad, you know? Because then I'm not even guaranteed, like, a knockout the following turn, and then they still are going to full blitz whoever. So I decided that I would rather just next turn... Like I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the, uh, Jolteon out of the equation, and then next turn is gonna be my, you know, recovery turn. I was gonna save that rescue stretcher, guaranteed get myself a Charmander back, promote the Jirachi, right, and then try to recover that next turn. So that's kind of what we're on right now. Let's see if we can see if we can do it. All right. There's Fire Crystal coming out of the next set. Put three Fire Energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Wow, that's just pretty good. And then I think that combos with, like, combos with some other item in this set, right? Or Supporter or something like that. I think there's a Supporter. It's like, kind of like Blacksmith, except it's from the hand, I believe. Something like that. Oh, there's the Triple DCE as well. Triple Acceleration Energy. This card can only be attached to Evolve Pokemon. It provides three colorless. And uh, does it discard at the end of the turn? This card can only be attached to Evolve Pokemon. Provides three colorless energy. It doesn't discard at the end of the turn? What? All right, that's a lot of, that's a lot of lightning energy, my man. Okay. Incoming, uh, incoming attack here. Yeah, we're about to get feeling really attacked right now. Let's Nest Ball and see what we can do. We know we're about to get like tag bolted. So we don't want to put a GX in play if we don't have to. I think we just thin and get myself a Charmander. Okay. And then Stellar Wish, see if we can find something. Cynthia, very good. 
It does discard itself. That's good. I was going to say it has to, it should discard itself at the end of the turn. It's fine. All right. We just need to get like some fire energy down. Probably in the discard pile would be good. All right. This hand's like not bad, actually. I think that's. I honestly just switch into the Charmander. Um, that way, you know, I can kind of maybe save my Jirachi for next turn. This is a feel bad, though. Yeah. That Tag Bolt is incoming for sure. And the thing is, like, even if I had find, found, like, a Fire Energy to put down on a Charmander, then he would have just Tag Bolted the Charmander for sure. Yep. Thank you so much, Conwadu, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. Welcome aboard. Back aboard. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Hopefully you enjoy your new emotes, such as Misty Wow, a Tricky Gym favorite. All right, so they've got the Tag Bolt on my Nine Tails and also something else. Thank you so much. Idiots are us. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate it. For the bits, my man, you rock. All right, and they're going to knock out my Jirachi as well, saving all my Charmanders, going down to two prizes remaining. That is brutality for sure. Okay, so here we go. We got Lilies in our hand, switches, skateboards. None of that really helps, unfortunately. So I feel like I got to kind of switch here. Thank you, Utz, for the Twitch Prime sub. Utz, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Put it aboard on that Charmander. He's skating. Check him out. Okay, like, not really a lot going on here. Feels kind of bad. Oh, <sighs> yeah. That might just be a loss, my guys. Hmm. I can do 210 with a Choice Bandit Charizard, I suppose. So, if I just, like... Sure, do this, I guess, like, we can just, no, they only have one prize remaining, who am I kidding, we lose, GG, mate, that's it, I could have gone and gotten, like, a Flareon GX, sure, but it wasn't quite going to be doing enough, so, we did pretty good, all in all, with the Charizard deck, to be honest, that is like a, uh, you know, not a tier one deck, but Anthony's Charizard list is super dope. Thank you, Conwadu. Wanted to say, started playing the game about two years ago, and your channel really helped learn how to play uh, the game competitively. Won my first League Cup this past weekend. Keep up the great work. That's awesome, Conwadu. Congrats. Shout out to you winning your first League Cup. Everybody in the chat, let's send uh, Conwadu some Electroach Money emotes in celebration of his first league cup win it's awesome man congrats and keep up the good work i'm glad that the channel was able to help you succeed all right let's uh let's play our own let's play our own zapdos deck i'm tired of playing against these uh these other zapdos decks i'm trying to trying to get my zapdos going on myself to be honest so yeah the triple dce thing that's kind of nuts for sure and then what is this supporter that I'm remembering? Welder. That's it. All right, Welder. I think it's very cool that they have, like, a, uh, I guess a female Welder card. I think that that's, like, super dope. It's kind of, like, defying conventions. Like, you would think probably that a, a Welder would be, like, a male card or whatever. But they're saying, like, hey, man, manual labor. Awesome. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Rosie the Riveter or something like that. Super cool looking card for sure. So that's dope. Welder, attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon, then draw three cards. So it's like a blacksmith except from the hand and it draws three cards. So I do like that. That's like very cool. And then also uh, you can play that fire crystal, right? And then fire crystal gets fire energy back from the discard pile three to the hand. So you could fire crystal, three energy from the discard pile to the hand, and then welder 
put two of those fire energy onto your Pokemon, attach one from hand, and you could get three fire energy on your Pokemon in one turn pretty easily. It's pretty dope. And there's also Fiery Flint, Kiawe's in the set, Duskstone. What does Duskstone do? Let's read that. If you have a Pokemon in play that evolves into Miss Magius, Honchkrow, Chandler, or Aegislash, search your deck for a Pokemon card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Very interesting. All right, let's play. Playing against some sort of Meganium. Some Meganium stuff going on here. I can uh, just go and get a turn one Jolteon. So I'm feeling like that's probably the play here. Hopefully he's in the deck. Haven't done a deck search. Fantastic. And then we got Thunder Mountain and can just Lily for four, which I feel pretty good about. A little Ultra Ball. Get ourselves, yeah, get rid of this Tapu Koko, that's fine, as well as probably a Lightning Energy. Yeah. And then I'm just going to get myself a Blitzel too. That way, I just have this Abstrika next turn. This is like a pretty sweet start, not going to lie. And we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just head bolt for knockout. I don't know what kind of Meganium deck my opponent is running yet. Haven't quite figured that all out, but we'll see. Oh, there's Greninjas in here. So this looks like the traditional Meganium deck played Greninja GX, which is a deck I haven't seen in a little while, for sure. Does Duskstone evolve on the first turn? Is it like Wally? Huh. You can use this card during your first turn or on the... Okay, so you can do turn one, turn one Honchkrow. And I do know that the new Honchkrow GX is pretty good. I was looking at this card the other day. It's pretty good. So knowing that you can get a turn one Honchkrow, it's kind of busted. All right. Uh, so you could turn one Unfair GX. Your opponent reveals their hand, discard two cards from it. That's kind of crazy, right? A Honchkrow is super nuts. So let's see here. They've got slacking over there. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent, uh, Pokemon to play have no abilities. Okay, that's not really going to stop me too much. Uh, we get to keep our stadium as well. Let's just, uh, sure. I think I'm going to electro power once and put an escape board down. And then. See, I could either sprint or I could lily here. I feel like I could switch into Zipstrika and then I actually don't I don't think that it'll matter that this is skateboard's there. Well Lily first. I don't want to put the shrine down. Obviously I'm the only one with the GX Pokemon. That's kinda cool. Fine with that. We got another lightning energy. Uh, I could attack the Zepstrika with uh, I could attack the Vulpix with the Zepstrika. I don't really think I need to do that. I don't need to put the Jirachi down yet either. I'm just going to retreat. And I can put the Lightning wherever just in case I eventually need to like Tapu Koko GX it off or something like that. Seems fine. And we'll uh, we'll just Electro Bullet for knockout. And we'll soften up like probably like, I don't know, slacking, I guess. Right. See, what are we talking about baseball in the chat? Mr. Marco, a baseball player just got signed. $430 million contract for the next 12 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I heard about that. It's to stay on one team, right? Um, that's like a big deal because it's like the most expensive contract, right, ever signed. But it's also just like a lifetime contract. Uh, I mean, lifetime, 12 years. I mean, that's pretty much for the remainder of his career. So I think that's like a big deal. Obviously, I kind of am like a fan of players picking a franchise or picking like a, a city, picking a team and just staying there. Like, I think that that's cool, honestly. Uh, I respect that a lot. So I think it's cool that this player just decided he wanted to stay in one city for the rest of his career. And, you know, that's where his family was going to live. I think that that's like a really nice and novel idea. 
So I'm into that. I mean, obviously, it's kind of a it's like a decent risk for the baseball team because you don't know how that player is going to operate over the course of, you know, 12 years. But I do like, uh, I do like the idea of it. So that's pretty cool. Haunch Crow, though, right? It's got this ability. Night Ruler, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play Pokemon tool cards, special energy cards, or stadium cards from their hand. And you can get Night Ruler turn one, dude. How is that not completely busted? Turn one, Haunch Crow with Dusk Stone. This, like, the Dusk Stone completely changes my opinion of this card entirely. All right, well, this thing's got 150 hit points. It's got a Swampert in play. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and sure we're gonna thin our deck a little bit and see what kind of stuff we got going on in here. Zapdos, sure, we'll get some fellas out. Then I can Guzma, which is kind of cool. Like a Volkner, which is kind of cool. I think I just like I don't really need to Guzma, though. Getting him in the active position is kind of a pain. Because my opponent's not going to be attacking with him, right? So, you will probably just Guzma, this fella. It's fine. We got board. And then, yeah, we'll just wish. We got Electro Power, Nest Ball. Not Electro Power. We got Energy Lotto, Nest Ball. Grab another Nest Ball. And then I'm probably just going to end up sprinting this hand. I don't really need any of it. It's fine. Gladly just get another Jirachi. My opponent doesn't really seem to be doing too much. I say that now, like I'm pretty sure that they will eventually, you know, get something going on here. But, yeah, we'll figure it out. Rescue Stretcher Shrine. Not the best hand to pivot into, but it's all good. Yeah, we'll just retreat and Electro Bullet. We'll gladly just soften up both these things. By softening the moth up, you can't ace a roll of both of them. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Marco. I appreciate you. What's up, Otto? Oh, Otto, why are you telling the chat that we need? <laughs> Listen, man, I'm cool, Otto. You, you don't need to do all that, but thank you. Thank you, Otto, for the kind words and encouragement. <laughs> Y'all don't need to do that, dude. <laughs> no, this is me telling the chat that I appreciate you guys. You guys don't need to be, you don't need to be that nice, but thank you. <laughs> oh, here, I'm going to drop some codes in the chat for you guys. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Zach for those bits, my man. Zach, thank you, as always. Thank you guys for another awesome stream. Been a good time. Drop some codes into the chat for y'all. The morning crowd, as always, doing pretty strong. 124. Awesome, man. That's some awesome viewership this morning, so thank you guys so much for hanging out. My opponent's got multiple Swamperts online at this point, but I don't really think that they're doing too much, right? They're kind of just like, I guess they're just looking for like some Greninjas, though they haven't really seen any yet. I've taken some prizes, but you know, we're like not super far along. We've only taken two. They haven't shown us a GX yet. I need to knock out the Meganium. That's like the big, the big deal. Once I can knock out that Meganium, then we're cooling. So I think we need to find ourselves another energy here. Potentially should have taken the, um, potentially should have taken the, I guess, energy lotto off that previous, uh, whatever it is. Judge, ooh, Judge is like pretty good against this deck, but granted they do have like, you know, a lot going on there. So I don't necessarily want to spend Sprint this hand away now that my judge is in my hand, if that makes any sense. So let's take a look here. We're going to escape rope, see who they promote. Definitely the Swampert. I've got Guzma, but I can't really knock anybody out because I need to find an energy. Hey, thank you, Energy Lotto. 
coming back to my hand. All right, so now we're thinking that maybe we hit an energy off this. Oh, we're taking the, yeah, we're taking the secret rare one for surely. All right, now we just need an electro power. Let's go, chat. Let's go, Jirachi. Give me that electro power. You already know. You already know what it is, chat. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that guy. Goodbye, sir. 150 plus... 110, well, 130, you know, 110 plus 30, 140 plus that. Yep, yeah, she's a goner. Headbolt for knockout. That's very good. Because now my opponent cannot do the old spring of Greninja into play out of nowhere. That would be, that'd be very good. Oh, what's up, Sean? Asking if I want a coffee. I think I'm cool this morning, Sean, but thank you. Appreciate it. I got myself some Dunkin' Donuts this morning, and then I uh, also got a Red Bull in the fridge. So I should be plenty caffeinated to get myself through the day. I believe so. <laughs> uh, what's up with all this encouragement this morning? I'm feeling very, uh, very encouraged, so thank you. Otto must be, must be signifying that he thinks I'm down or something. I'm doing all right, but thank you guys. Thank you guys for the encouragement this morning. I'm doing what I can. I'm pretty tired, pretty whooped from back-to-back -back weekends traveling to the expanded regionals, not going to lie, but we're cool. I'm excited to be back, honestly. It's going great, and really, really looking forward to just, you know, kind of bearing down and getting some more YouTube content out and making videos that I'm proud of. And that's something that I'm trying to do uh, as well. <laughs> Mbot says, shout out to college students. Indeed, shout out to college students. I don't know who's watching me this morning, all 123 of you, appreciate it. I imagine that there's at least a certain amount that are at work right now. Press one if you're at work, all right? Press one if you're at work right now. Press two. If you have absolutely no other responsibilities and you just Jay chilling right now, press one if you're at work, two if you are just free of all responsibility and just hanging out. <laughs> I want to see how many of you guys are at work. Now, if you're at work, it's possible that you're watching without the volume on and that you don't hear this. When's the skate montage coming? <laughs> I work from home, easy, yes, that's amazing, right? <laughs> Mr. Marco's got absolutely nothing going on. Brady's got nothing going on. <laughs> oh, Lily, you're homeschooled, that's pretty dope, all right. But you're saying too, you've got no other responsibilities because you're homeschooled, like what? Josh Carnell just woke up, quick jam hanging out before work. I'm at the CarMax lot working on cars. That's awesome, Guero. Hey. I've bought, I've bought a car from CarMax before. It's uh, pretty legit, honestly. So, Sweet. Man, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Sire's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm taking a long bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than taking a bathroom break at work. Am I right, guys? That's what I'm saying. You know, getting paid to work on the, you know, to go to bathroom on company hours. Oh, thank you so much, Sean, for the gift. Appreciate it. So generous of you, Sean. Big shout out to Sean, everybody. Fellow coworker here at Fulgrip Games. Thank you to Sean for supporting the channel. Big thanks to everybody who supports Fulgrip Games. Fulgrip Games makes this channel possible as well as you guys at home who support it. So thank you guys so much for your contributions and your patronage to the shop. Thank you, Sean, for being awesome. You rock, my man, and we'll be seeing you shortly. Let's see, all right, so I think we're just gonna go for broke and try to knock out this uh, nine tails here. Seems kinda correct. I also think judge seems good. So we'll judge my opponent, limit their hand. They only got eight cards left in deck. Shrine seems kinda unnecessary, sure. I could Rescue Stretcher and bring back the, the 130, 160. I would still need two damage buffs. So either way, I only need two damage buffs. So the Rescue Stretcher is not really the play right now. Let's just judge. See what we get. 
we got another electro power. So you're saying, oh, that's my final one. We can't do it, right? I shouldn't have put that electro power down knowing that I can't do it. All right. So, no, I'm doing it. Yeah, two electro power and a choice band. Oh, we got it. That's so sick. Okay. And then, sure, we'll put this choice band down. We'll put this lightning energy down. And then let's just let's just sprint, guys. Let's just do it. Hey, Jolt Dog. You doing it. Look at you doing your job, Jolt Dog. I think we just swift run GX. Sure. At this point, let's make him invincible. 200 damage. Perfect. And all we got to do is Guzma for game on any of these lowly fellas. Assuming that my opponent is not going to be able to get all of these guys evolved up off of a judge to four cards, it should be pretty good. <laughs> King Pizza says, I'm not going to bathroom unless I'm getting paid. <laughs> That is too good. No way, man. No way. That's fair, though. When else would you go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is too funny. All right. Uh, let's see. In honor of the recent sub gift, I'm going to drop some codes in the chat for you guys. Uh, a reminder that you can buy codes from fullgroupgames.com, and Sean will email them to you promptly as soon as he gets to work. So. Reminder of that. Thank you guys all for hanging out. Let's throw a couple of these guys in there. Bunch of codes, bunch of codes. Oh my gosh, you guys are too funny. <laughs> oh man. You get a code, you get a code, you get a code. There we go. Sick. We're doing pretty good this morning. Honestly, I've won like what? I was like 3-1 with Charizard, which is honestly like with Charizard of all decks, right? Now we're winning another one with Jolteon. I think we are maybe one, maybe two with Jolteon, right? So that's pretty sweet. Josh Carnell, thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Josh Carnell. Thank you so much for supporting the shop. Glad you got that hoodie and that you're enjoying it, my man. It's awesome. Uh, the Full Grip hoodies are super comfy. We do have them available on fullgripgames.com now. Uh, sizes are a little bit limited, so appreciate your guys' patience while we are ordering more. But we do also have the knit hats and T-shirts available on the website under apparel. So thank you guys so much for supporting the shop. Really appreciate it. And thank you, Josh Carnell, for the bits, my man. Current bit leader, Josh Carnell, everybody. Thank you so much for your continued support of me and the channel and the shop, my dude. You rock. All right, we just got it, guys. Guzman for game. Yeah, we're just going to bring up that, uh, that little chikorita over there. And head bolt for knockout. GG, man. Unfortunately, my opponent was not really able to get too much going on there with that Greninja deck. King Pizza, I do plan on doing more playmats eventually. Uh, I don't know what the themes are going to be or what they are going to do, but I, I do plan on running some more. Uh, the thing about the playmats is that they just take like a lot of overhead money. Like I probably, they take like a big investment off rip. And I've been a little, uh, yeah, we're working on recouping some finances. <laughs> so I just invested into a new computer that was big. I just invested uh, into uh, some other stuff for the channel as well. Uh, the new computer is like really the big one, right? We're kind of working on paying that off. So there's like a few things that I'm working on right now uh, getting squared away. But playmats are something that I'm thinking about on the horizon here. All right, let's play some Pikaram. I think that uh, what Pablo's Pikaram list Pablo Rom was a lot of fun. I would like to, yeah, let's give that a run. See how Pablo Rom does. <laughs> Faves, thank you for your contributions. Rocking the headphones at work like. Gonna be going first here. Wow, my opponent's got some very cool sunglasses on. I dig that. Anybody in the chat still play Pokemon Go? Press 1 if you play Pokemon Go. I have not uh, played myself in a few months, but I am very excited 
to get back to playing Pokemon Go now that the weather is getting nicer. So press 1 if you are also excited to play some Pokemon Go here once the weather starts to turn. I'm really, really anxious to get out there and see what kind of new updates have been made to the game since the winter. The winters are so bad here in Ohio, honestly, that it's just like, it's not really great for going outside. However, what, it's like 40 degrees today? That's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I did see Siglyf GX, yes. All right, we're just going to get it rocking here. We got Tapu Koko, we got Ultra Ball. We got a Stellar Wish, sure. I think uh, I'm playing against some sort of fire deck. I'm not really sure, but uh, I feel pretty confident just going and getting myself a Picaram. Starting to load some energy onto it. And then we'll Jirachi. See if we can't find ourselves a supporter here. We got a Volkner. It's fine enough. Uh, just get myself a couple other things. We got two lightnings in the discard pile. That's fine. Volkner. Get myself probably a nest ball and a lightning. Seems where we're at right now. Get myself a, I guess, get myself a Tapu Koko Prism Star. Yeah. And then let's just uh, let's just get it rocking, man. We're just going all in here. And we're going to get the turn two full blitz, whether you like it or not because I just have Energy Guzma in my hand. So we're making it happen. All right. Go ahead, sir. It was 80 degrees in SoCal yesterday. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. Yeah, wow, yep, burning with envy there. My parents live in Baltimore, downtown Baltimore, Fells Point, love it there. I grew up outside Baltimore, so it's really cool getting to visit home where my parents live downtown, really love that. Apparently it's been like 70s and 80s there too, which is like, got me really trying to visit because it is uh, it is still pretty cold here in Ohio. The other day, oh yeah, we'll take that dub chat. The other day it was like 60 degrees, maybe 50 or 60 here. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, right? Now it is snowing again. It's just snowing again. But like the the 150 degree day that we had, it felt like it was like summer. I was ready like t-shirt, you know, was ready to take the top down on my Jeep. But yes, let me know if you guys got any ideas for playmats. I would like to do another exclusive playmat, Tricky Gym playmat, uh, here in the next, probably for like springtime. I would really like to do another Tricky Gym playmat, so let me know got any ideas for playmats in the chat would like to hear it I'll try to cook something up for the back half of the season here I think that'd be pretty exciting for sure Connor I do drive a Jeep let's see if I can find a picture of my car it's not gonna be like my exact one probably I'm not sure that I I might have posted it somewhere. Maybe I posted it on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, hit me up on the gram, bro. Hit me up on Instagram, at enjoyfriend. I love Instagram. Honestly, it's been, like, something that I've been working on a lot more lately is my Insta. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, please check it out. I've been posting there a lot more. Instagram, and of course, Twitter. Also, make sure to follow Natalie at Natakazam on both platforms as well. She's way funnier than me. So if you enjoy my content, you'll enjoy hers way more. Okay. Hmm. Nate Dog, a Detective Pikachu themed playmat. That's kind of cool. I am worried with playmats about running into copyright issues. That's one of the, like one of the reasons that I've slowed down on the playmat grind a little bit. I'm not trying to make Pokemon too mad at me. All right, I'm not trying to make them too mad. Just a little mad, but not too mad. Let's see here. Okay, I think we actually go get myself this guy. No, no, we actually just go get a Jirachi. And then we Volkner, I think. If 
for a switch. I don't, the thing is, is that I don't want to put my Lele down. So I'm like trying to find a way to play this hand without playing that Lele because putting the Lele down in the mirror is really brutal. So I'm not trying to do that. Let's see what we got here. Another nest ball. That's good. Also a lily. It's also good. I think I'll get the other nest ball and then just start attaching to my own Pika Ram. We'll go like that. And then, yeah, sure. Not sure that this is the best route in the mirror, but we're going to figure it out. Pass. I did go to, ooh, I love the idea of a Squirtle Squad playmat. I think that that's like super cool, right? Uh, Squirtle Squad, one of my, you know, favorite kind of entities from the uh, from the game for sure. I think that that's super cool. Um, obviously, Misty is like my favorite dream leader, so like Misty themed stuff's always cool. Uh, Tricky Jim, like what is Tricky Jim themed stuff though? Like, right? So like that's kind of something that I ask myself a lot. Obviously, I did the super stoked skateboard mat. Like that was something that was kind of like very Tricky Jim oriented, right? And then, you know, the Misty mat, the Sabrina mat, like they're cool, but I don't want to just do like girls on mats, like, you know, so I need to kind of diversify a little bit and do some other stuff also because I don't want to just be the guy who puts girls on mats either, right? So like uh, I'm thinking about like I think a Squirtle Squad mat would be really cool, right? Uh, obviously, I could get myself into some like copyright issues. So like we're trying to uh, trying to maybe avoid as many of those as we can. <laughs> I think the skateboard play mat was probably the best, you know, one I've done at avoiding that. Oh, here's my car. Let's see. Can I share this? Is it possible to... Ooh, copy link. Here we go. All right. Anybody wants to see my car, there's a picture of Natalie in my Jeep. Okay. If anybody was curious. Let's see what we got going on here. We got Viridian Forest. We got Ultra Ball. We got Guzma. Brock and a Speedo. Oh, my gosh. You guys are too funny. Oh, my. Okay. I think I kind of... Well, I, yeah, I guess I kind of have to thin with the Viridian. But then I can get, I don't have a lightning in the discard pile yet. Let's see what we can get here. Stellar Wish. All right. We got Valkner. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting because I can Valkner and then I can full blitz. But not really because this guy's going to sleep. So that means I kind of have to Guzma this turn. That or I can get myself, if I grab the switch, I can Lily. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sure. We're going to grab the switch. A friendship mat. Connor, I'm glad you like my Jeep, man. I love it. Honestly, it's like my favorite thing ever. That's my that's my child right there. Okay, we're going to get the Viridian. We're going to... Huh. How are we doing this? We're going to Lily for three first. Seems fine. And then we're just going to hit. We want to hit this thing with Zapdos. So I actually already have all the cards that I need to do that. Ooh, Thunder Mountain. That's kind of cool. So we want to just hit the man. Sure, we got that. And then we discard the switch. That's probably fine. I like the Ultra Ball. I like the Guzma. And I like the Zorora. So we could probably discard the switch. That's probably okay. All right. Get ourselves a lightning energy. And then we're just going to hit this Picaram for 80. We're trying to just like be careful here. And we're being a little bit conservative. But I think that's probably how you end up winning the mirror. Is, I mean, obviously you can just overrun them. If they don't respond, they don't respond. But like... That's just kind of an all-in strategy that I'm not exactly sure is the most consistent way to win the mirror. Probably utilizing these Zapdoses is really strong. Poking the Pika Roms, making sure that you soften them up a little bit. Prepare for a big Tag Bolt turn. I mean, at this point, this guy with 80 damage on him has 160 hit points left. That's perfect. I could Tag Bolt my opponent uh, on the bench there. 
Oh, mini mads. Hello, welcome. Glad you got off school. There's my Jeep right there. Drop the link in the chat. You guys can see it on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, do it. I've been really working on the aesthetic of my Instagram lately, all right? Really working on my Insta game hard. I got, uh, and I put like Pokemon stuff up there, cards, all that. Of course, fair share of pictures of me and Natalie. But a lot of Pokemon stuff. Pretty cool. I'm almost at 1,500 followers on Instagram, so let's see. My opponent also decided to go. Did they Acerola? Where did that thing go? They max potioned it. Oh, you savage. Okay. Sure, I guess. Opponent going in for the max potion play there. I see you. Okay, so. Hmm. Interestante. Let's, uh. Let's start out with a Stellar Wish. Let's see if we can find a Nest Ball or something. Escape Rope, Guzma's, Ultra Balls. I think we just uh, probably just get another card here. I can full blitz. I could also just Guzma and hit into that Picaram again. So if I just take another Guzma, that's like honestly kind of cool think that I'm just gonna like work on building my hand size. We got one lightning in the discard pile. I'm gonna work on just building my hand size. I'm not gonna give my opponent the uh, the Thunder Mountain yet. That's like way too good. They've only got a two card hand. So let's just continue working on doing this. Do I have my Tapu Koko Prism Star in the deck? I don't. Okay. So my Tapu Koko Prism Star, not here. Have I already used it? I did already use it, didn't I? Yeah, wow. I did? Or did my opponent? I think my opponent did. I don't think I did. I don't... F did I? I might have. I don't remember it, though. But I might have. All right, we're going to go here. I'm going to goose him up, that guy. Just going to hit him again with the Zapdos. We're going to stay the same course here. Thunderous Assault. And then, you know, if my opponent full blitzes, then I can use my Thunder Mountain and potentially go from there. So that's kind of where we're uh, it's kind of where we're at right now. My Instagram is at enjoyfriend on Instagram. So they just they ain't got it like that. There we go. We're good to go. Now, we got that lightning energy in our hand. We got Thunder Mountain. I can just go full blitz this thing for knockout, which is very good. Let's start out by using Guzma on that Picaram. Stellar Wish, got Electro Power, and Energy Switch. Not really what I wanted. Probably the Electro Power is good, just to have in my hand. Could also get the E Switch and just Ultra Ball it away. Or get the, uh, yeah, probably don't need that right now. Huh. See, we get the E switch, then we go into that Picaram there. Huh, okay, three prizes, yeah, yeah. I think that's cool. And that way I don't need to put the stadium down. All right. Let's grab that. 150? Oh, am I short? Yeah, I am, aren't I? I'm short by 10. Shouldn't have done that, Andrew. All right, we needed that Electro Power for sure. I can Tag Bolt it. Um, or we could actually just go in with Plasma Fists. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to go here. I think, right? No, I need double. I need attach energy switch. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. It's fine. All right. Go on plan C. Probably should have traded something there. It's cool. Plasma Fist. That'll do it. Thank you, Fabes. Appreciate it. Take a three prizes here. So we did put that Thunder Mountain down for my opponent. Don't love that, but it's fine. Uh, I did take out their Picaram first, and my Picaram's safely on the bench. I'm also not really um, in the way for 
my opponent to punish me with the Tapu Koko GX either, so that's that's nice. Guero, yes, Natalie does coach. You can message her on Twitter at Natakazam and ask her about her coaching uh, services. But yes, she is excellent at it. Honestly, very, very strong coach. Uh, I listen in on her all the time. She's really good at what she does. She might not be taking new clients right now, uh, but if she is, you can contact her and ask. Ooh, yeah, so didn't have to knock out my opponent, just kind of fallen behind here, and they don't have a whole lot going on. I've got Volkner, so I can just go get myself an Electro Power to take a knockout on this Tapu Koko GX. I've got Retreat for free, and we'll just full blitz, and that's it. All right. Taking another win with Pablo Ram. Six stuff. <laughs> oh, you're not. <laughs> Guero says he's not very good at playing Zapdos with the Ultra Beast deck. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, and you spent too much money not to play it. I feel you, Guero. Yes, coaching can make a big difference for a lot of people. It helps you get to that next level faster, that's for sure. Uh, it took me years to learn how to play this game by myself. I was just kind of absorbing as much content as I could online. But me and my friends were not very good. Uh, so it just took us a very long time to get there. I'm gonna continue looking at the cards from Unbroken Bond, see if there's anything else that excites me. I like the the fire engine, right? I think that that's very cool. You guys know any uh, fire attackers? What fire attackers will go well with the fire engine there? With the whole welder and everything. Guys, let me know in the chat. Which fire attackers go well with the new fire buff cards? Save me some clicking around here. What does Red's Challenge do? Oh, this is like a sick card, honestly. Red's Challenge, like the full art on this thing. Looks insane, right? The new Blacephalon, Baby Turtonator. Okay. Blacephalon? Are you, do you just mean like regular Blacephalon? Like Blacephalon GX? Yeah, Blacephalon GX probably going to be pretty good, right? Getting You can get turn one uh, knockouts with, um, I guess, with the welder, right? Turtonator from Dragon's Majesty and Baby Blacephalon. All right, so let's see what these guys do. The Baby Blacephalon's in this new set. And Blacephalon, let's see what you do, man. Blazer, 10 plus damage for one. Turn one of your prize cards face up. If that card's a fire energy, this attack does 50 more damage. Okay. And then I'm going to read that second attack as soon as I'm done taking my turn. We've got Eevee in the active. Ooh, a Thunder Mountain Prism Star, too. That's pretty dope. But there is a Pikachu and Zekrom over there looking kind of uh, intimidating. I think we just... Uh, I really want a Guzma this turn is the thing. But I could easily just knock out the Jirachi, I think, and Lily. That's probably the better play. So let's just do that. We're going to Ultra Ball away Guzma energy switch um, actually we can ultra ball away energy switch and lightning do that get myself the Zapdos Zapdos bro I prize both these Zapdoses dude like come on <sighs> okay both Zapdoses MIA feels bad man let's then start off with switch into Jirachi <laughs> okay let's see what we got going on here uh, bench that thing and we're gonna do that a little bit of that there we go and Lily for six pretty sick huh don't want my opponent to get a big knockout on me. Turn two. 
We can nest ball for a Pika Rom. It's probably good. Ultra Ball. Actually, like we got to turn one full blitz if my opponent, uh, or if I can hit a switch card off of this, which would be pretty rad, right? I think we just go get the peak around. That's cool. And then I can Ultra Ball for the Tapu Koko Prism Star. And eh, we'll just Stellar Wish, see what we get. Okay, so we did get an Escape Rope, which actually pushes one of these other guys up. Just kind of cool. So we could go here. Uh, I guess I could do it with like somebody else. I'm just worried that my opponent's gonna get that knockout on my. You know what? If they do though, I can I can always just like Tapu Koko GX them. So all right, we're gonna go all in here. It's Ultra Ball away. Got one lightning down. Ultra Ball away a second lightning. And Guzma? Seems fine. Yeah, both these other cards feel very good to have. So let's grab this dude. And then we're going to blow him up. Dance of the Ancients. Actually, kind of feel like I. Hmm. Yeah. We actually go here. Cool. And then a scope rope. What you got, my man? For the Reds Challenge card, it's basically a computer search, but it's a supporter card. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we're going to go in with this guy. All right. And then I think we kind of have to full blitz here, and we have to grab energy too. I mean, granted, that is really bad if my opponent responds to my knockout with their own Tapu Koko GX, but if they do, then I can respond to them right back. So I'm thinking here that we actually grab energy because my opponent at this point, like I'm pretty confident that they could just knock me out with a full blitz if they just find a couple electro powers. I mean, really, they need two, right? Yeah, they need two. I'm pretty sure that they could find that if they want it. So we're going to go here. We're just going to do it and say, well, well, hope you don't. <laughs> and if they do, oh, well. All right, let's read this Blacephala. Second attack, Fireball Circus. Discard any number of fire energy cards from your hand. This attack does 50 damage for each card you discard in this way. It's pretty good. Fireball Circus is pretty good. However, it does require... A lot of fire energy in your hand. What, you need like four? So I guess you could play, they got the choice band, so I'm pretty sure they only need two, right? 180 plus 30 is 110, 210 plus 30 is 240. So they only need two. But Fireball Circus, that's definitely a powerful attack, right? You could use the Fire Crystal to get three back to your hand. You could use Fiery Flint to get more fires to your hand. And then you compare it with Flareon GX, who does more damage for the amount of fire in your discard pile. There's also, you compare it with Victini Prism Star, right? I think the uh, Victini Prism Star would be very good. Doesn't that like shuffle energy back into your uh, Victini Prism Star? What does he do? Pretty sure he does damage for the amount of fire in your discard pile, and then he like shuffles some back in, something like that. Oh, that, that image is too small. I need a big image of Victini Prism Star. This attack does 20 damage for each basic energy in your discard pile, then shuffle the cards into your deck. Right, so Victini Prism Star, also good. 2-2 two, two, Miss Magius. What in the world does a 2-2 two, two Miss Magius line do? What does a Miss Magius? What? See, I told you this thing was a goner. All right. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. My opponent is going to be going down in prizes very fast. So, shoot. That's just insano. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's not good, folks. Not great. Let's Stellar Wish here, see what we can do. Got an S-Ball and a Lily. I do need to draw some cards, that's for sure. 
I can also just go in and Tapu Koko GX this thing, I guess. That's actually kind of good. And then I'm like actually in the driver's seat to win if I just Tapu Koko GX it. So yeah, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna take two energy off of this. That's it. Into the active you go. Energy here. I don't need electro power. I'm doing 250. Pretty good. All I need is to get Guzma for game on a Lele or something, or just take game. Yeah, so I'll just Lily for four. Ideally, we wanted another lightning. Yup. Yup. She's prized. Great. Just great. That's fine. Okay. We'll put the board down. And then I have Guzma in my hand. But at this rate, I'm going to need some other things because I didn't see that my Jolteon's prize. It's all good. Tap it Thunder DX. Goodbye, sir. Miss Magius lets you KO it, then draw to you as seven cards. Ooh, that's a busted draw. We got Jolteon double electro power. So we're very close. Let's you discard it, then draw until you have seven cards, I think. It lets you put uh let's it puts you on B string turns by making your opponent take prize cards. Wow, that's kind of cool actually. Okay. And then I did forget that the Baby Blacephalon is a Ultra Beast. So it does also work with the B-String card. So that's kind of cool. I think that Baby Blacephalon is very, very good. That sounds good. Uh, I do think three energy cost requirement does kind of like bum me out a little bit. Three on a non-GX is like so high. Like that's, it's a little bit annoying. I don't like that. I wish it was two. If it was two, that card would be broken. <laughs> but three is probably cool, right? All right, so let's see how this mirror is going to go down. My opponent's probably going to one prize remaining. They also have to disrupt my hand if they want to win this one, because as it is right now, I've just got Guzma double power on their uh, Tapu Lele, and that'll do it. We ripped the Jolteon off my prize. I'm pretty sure they're not tag bolting here. If they tag bolt for a game, I'm going to be super duper salty. Like really, really salted, right? If they somehow like E-switch, E-switch, E-switch. That'd be nuts. Pretty sure they're just going to full blitz though, which is cool. I just got it like that. They had to put the Lele down. That Lele is going to be a major weakness. I'm going to get exact numbers for a knockout there. Oh, they did have it. No way. Hey. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not going to lie. Honestly, we should still draw out of this just fine. Because right now we're doing 160 plus 60, 220. We need one more damage buff. We got ourselves a ton of cards here. I just need one lightning energy to attack with that zero aura. Okay. Let's electro power. Electro power. Put both these down. And then Lily for six. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Electro power. Choice ban. And stunt. There we go. Yep. Didn't even have Stellar Wish, but I felt like it. All right, that was pretty cool. Pablo Ron getting us a whole mess load of wins there. Pretty sweet deck. Honestly, very strong list. I do kind of wish that there was a Let Loose Marshadow in there, but it's all good. Who needs it? Honestly. Let's play some Blacephalon. All right for some Blacephalon chat. Let's burn it up. Win streak of four. Let's keep it going. Confuse Ray. Advice for your first regionals. First regionals, I would say just uh, try to relax and have fun. Don't stress yourself out too much. Don't worry too much. It's, you know, it can be very overwhelming. It can be a lot. Playing in 50 minutes best of three can be very, uh, very stressful because 50 minutes is not enough game, not enough time to complete three games. So a lot of times you have to learn how to just shuffle fast. You have to learn how to play your cards quickly. You have to learn how to keep an appropriate pace going throughout the course of your three games. 
And then you also have to learn when to scoop. That is a big, uh, that's like a big deal in, in regional play is knowing when to scoop one of your games and go to the next game because you have to you have to know when to call it quits on a match, right? Because you might be playing and you know if you're losing game one, in order to win the series, you have to win two of those games. You might just call it quits on game one in the first few turns because you know you can't win. Maybe you have a 5% chance of winning that's too small. So you will like call it quits and go to game two and you're going first and then you have a higher chance of winning that game because you're going first, right? That kind of thing. So this is kind of a bummer start here. It's really bad, actually. Real bad. It's cool, though. No Ultra Ball away, a Fire Energy, and a Naganadel. Get myself a Blacephalon. We just have to kind of go from here. Hope the next turn is nicer to me. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, Confuse Ray, it's not hard to find your way around. You'll have plenty of an easy time doing that. Charizard's best. Uh, I did go to Greensboro. I picked a good deck. I played Blastoise. You know, Azul obviously got second with that. But I played against a few Trash Alliance early on, and it just was kind of a rough go for me. Very close series. It just wasn't my day. That's okay. The weekend previous with Night March, I did better. Uh, I went, I was 6-2, and two, and then instead of IDing into day 2, I decided to try and play for it. Played against an auto loss. So kind of a bummer there. But it's all good. You know? Can't win them all. I have scored points at like, uh, I guess I think I've been to like five regionals. I've scored points at four of them this year out of five. So that's like good numbers for me. So I just got to stay the course and kind of keep it up. And I'm sure I'll be fine. Yikes, my opponent's not really giving me a lot to work with here. Uh, I can Erica's for three. This is not good. So we can go here. And then I think we just let loose, to be honest. Kind of hope we draw into something better than this. And also limit my opponent down to four cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see you, deck. That's fine. I'm just hoping that we burst GX here for something solid. Uh, give me a fire energy, please. Yeah. Well, ah, heat factory. Nuts. <laughs> uh, we're going to hope that my opponent doesn't have like the switch cards that they need in order to attack again. That would be good. Knocking out my Grimer is a little bit of a bummer because that means that Muck is not really going to be coming into the equation here. I think we might play a Ditto, but if not, it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Blacephalon, you know, is the deck that ends up getting us the L here and ruining this win streak. Then uh, that is just, that's just fine. You know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Can't complain. <laughs> so my opponent's getting a Pikaram out. Got lightning on it. It's cool. I got Guzma. Not exactly sure that I'm going to be using that Guzma. Yeah, they just thunder self for 10. We're cool. We let loose them into garbage, guys. We did it. Excellent. I think here that we actually just, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, goodbye hand go get the Lele and we're getting ourselves a supporter here fellas let's go that's what I'm talking about busted Blacephalon deck we're going to get ourselves a Lily just attach an energy to the benched uh, people I guess Lily for six yeah well yikes my guys really this is what we're on right now. I have to mind blown all of these. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Feels bad, but you know, we're just gonna hope that my opponent doesn't full blitz again. I think <laughs> that's kind of what we own. We just need to hope that they do not full blitz. Um, I think the Kingdra GX is cool. Honestly, I'm not I'm not a big fan of Kingdra GX. I think usually I'm lucky enough if I just Archie one time. <laughs> but 
the Kingdom GX is cool. I think I heard some of the players saying that they they kind of were like wishing that they hadn't played it. I think it's kind of like a luck card. It's fine, honestly. Relying on Archie twice is sketchy in my opinion, but it is undoubtedly good in the mirror. It's good at knocking out Waylords. It's good at knocking out Zorks. So I'll give it that. Let's see here. We got a, I think, a little bit of a better hand here that we are going first. And a turn one, Erica is not really going to do it for me. So that's fine. We do get a mulligan, though, which is sweet. We'll take it. But I guess another lightning deck. Dang, man. There are a lot of lightning decks on PTCGO. Just, just, just a lot of them, to be honest. All right, go ahead. You got a champ. See what you could do. I think the next set is going to be a ton of fun, though. And I think that Team Up did actually bring like a lot to the game as well. These tag team Pokemon are seeing a lot of play. We saw Azul obviously got second place at Greensboro with both Snorlax and Eevee, as well as Waylord, Magikarp Waylord, in his deck. Pikaram also made top eight in expanded format. So these tag team Pokemon are seeing some success in expanded format as well as standard even though uh, Zach Lesage won the last standard event with Blacephalon there was also some Picarom in that top eight as well rounding things out so that's very good looks like my opponent's gonna be targeting down my Poiple don't do that bro I think that Fighting Dojo is also a very cool card, right? The attacks of your non-Ultra Beast uh, with any basic fighting energy attached to them do 10 more damage. And then if you're behind on prizes, it does 40 more damage, right? I think that, I think that's like really cool. Okay. Let's see here. We can treasure, we can discard one of these first. Get myself Probably just a 98 L. And then I actually already have, I am just like, I have just apparently a space cadet. Didn't see that I had one in my hand. All right, it's cool. Carry on. <laughs> We're going to be Erica Zing for like three or four. I uh, wish that I had seen that I had that other 98 L in my hand, but it's all good. Life goes on. And we're never punished, so it's totally fine. Going to Mysterious Treasure, probably... Yeah, I don't want to let loose my opponent, that's for sure. So we're just going to get ourselves another Poipo. Okay. Going to do that. Busted. Charge up, retreat. And then, you know, we don't really have any supporter cards in our hand. But it's fine. I think I can just... We mind blown this thing, to be honest. I don't know that it matters. I think we mind blown for one. It's cool. Sure. And then I'll save burst GX for later. We're just gonna do that. Knock out this Jirachi. Kind of weaken my opponent's board position. And then we're hoping to get muck out here. Uh, I also decided to mind blown instead of burst GX because my hand was bad. Because you know, I wanted to actually draw my prize instead of discarding it, which proved to be very good because Ultra Space is going to help me a lot here. Then we're hoping to grab that muck here. The muck would be very good against what my opponent's got going on. And we're hoping that they don't get, like, knockout on this Placephalon, that's for sure. And knock out the Placephalon, we're going to be having a bad time. Do they really whiff? Oh my gosh, they got nothing. Well... Everybody, you know, F for my opponent, who has absolutely nothing going on over there. Sure, we're going to grab ourselves probably another Blacephalon at this point. Seems good. So we'll do that, uh, just so that we have a backup attacker. Should my opponent ever actually get anything going on, start to charge up a little bit. Charge up, turn up, let's get it. Skirt. Throw that fire on there. And we'll probably just burst GX, to be honest, here. I don't want to waste all my energy getting rid of this Tapu Koko. 
and would rather just leave it in the active position. So I think I'll just go here, burst, and carry on. Now our board position is very stable. If my opponent does take a knockout, I got B-strings, and we're just getting more fire energy in play to prepare for when they actually do start to do something. I do think the Fighting Dojo card is very cool. I'm not sure who it's going to pair best with because you can't use it with Ultra Beast Pokemon. Obviously, the best Ultra Beast fighting Pokemon or the best fighting Pokemon are Ultra Beasts. So that's kind of like a little bit of a bummer. Still cool, though. I think the Muck and Alola Muck GX, it's like cool, but like, I don't know. Poison, right? What, 16 damage counters or something? Ridiculous 15 damage counters instead of one in between turns. Nasty goo mix, right? And it needs four extra energy cards attached to it. Uh, I'm not not super sure about it, right? And severe poison, eight damage counters. <laughs> Zach, I know Zach's very excited about muck and muck. Okay, we ain't got nothing going on in this hand, guys. So that's that's just what it is. I think that we kind of have to just super poison and hope that we get a Guzma out of this eventually. Sure. Uh, that's probably just what we want. We can't manually retreat this Grimer. This Grimer is actually horrible in this deck. This is like... This guy is nothing but a huge problem. We don't have any way to retreat him, ever, right? It's just actually kind of disastrous. I'm going to toss some more codes into the chat. Big thanks to everybody who's hung out this morning. Everybody who's donated bits, thank you. Josh Carnell, Zach, and Zach, thank you guys. Appreciate it. There's some codes. All right, my opponent's going to Cynthia here, get a fresh hand. They're looking for some lightning energy. It's kind of what they need in order to get moving here. They don't really mind knocking out my Alolan Grimer because that is going to be a huge problem for them if I get Muck into play. So they'll gladly just dispose of that thing, and I need to promote a damaged Blacephalon, which is not good for me, right? And I have to loss zone three fire energy. So they're going to start catching up here very quickly. I have kind of always maintained that I don't think that this is a good matchup. Even with the Alolan Muck, it's like definitely not good, right? There's just so much that your opponent um, can do. You know, if they can keep that Muck off the board, you just lose. 180 hit points is nothing to a Zapdos deck, especially with Shrine in there. They will very easily take these knockouts and be able to just kind of sprint ahead here. If they go to three prizes remaining, then we're tied. Uh, then if I go to two prizes remaining, it's cool. Then they can go to one prize remaining by knocking out this Blacephalon. They've got four prizes just chalked up, ready to go right here. Why are they... You are not on your sledge term, sledgehammer turn, my man. What is you doing? In before concede, they're going to realize, like, oh, no, he's not on four. And they're just going to throw in the towel, you think? I mean, granted, with, like, a choice band, you could still do 90 damage not on your sledgehammer turn, but it's not good, my man. That's that's not what you wanted to do this turn. Definitely wanted to just go in with Zapdos and dunk on this Blacephalon. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Why in the world would they have done that? Oh, it's all good, you know? Yeah. You do what you can do. They're just going to sledgehammer for, like, 60 damage. All right, so we should be in the clear to win this one now. Uh, with that crucial uh, crucial whiff of a knockout there on my opponent's part, we finally got ourselves a draw supporter. Very good. Stop that from happening. We'll throw this ditto into play, too. And, yeah. Just take ourselves a nice old mind blown knockout, you know, discard both those and that one there. Uh, I am probably starting to run a little low on energy if I had to guess. Lost zone seven. So I only have. Where did that. Oh, that was my opponent's beast energy. Seven. That means I only have eight left in deck. Seven left in deck. I got one right here. 
So, ah, he forgot about my burst DX. Probably. I assume he would not have gone in with that plus, uh, or with the Buzzwall there had he known that I went to three prizes. I do think that the Muck and Muck GX is very cool looking, though. I'm definitely going to give him that. It's very, very cool. And it makes me even more convinced that they'll probably go for a Raichu and Raichu GX because they seem to be putting these Pokemon kind of paired together. Hmm. Ice picking ass, crushing ice axe. It's kind of cool. Look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and choose one of them. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into their deck and your opponent puts the card you chose on top of their deck. Can definitely see that being played in some degenerate control deck. That's for sure. Let's see what else we got here. Snorlax, a penny, Ultra Ball, Fire Crystal. Very cool. Marshadow, Machamp GX. Just don't know if that card is super good. I saw someone in the chat say Weezing. Let's see what Weezing does. At any time between turns, if this Pokemon's your active Pokemon, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's kind of cool. And then Scatter Sludge. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That has any damage counters on it. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Two prizes remaining. My opponent finally has unlocked my B-string turn, so we can just do that. All I need to do is B-string a couple times, and we should just be in there. Okay, well, let's get it. We've got double Cynthia, double Blacephalon. Okay, we got an Ultra Ball away these guys. I think at this at this point, like the Alolan Muck, just not really what we need. We just need B-Strings. Got plenty of fire energy in the deck. So, it's cool. I'm going to fail that, and then I'm just going to Cynthia first. We're going to fail that because I wanted to save, like, I didn't want to put the Muck out because I decided I might want to Marshadow. Sure enough, I think the Marshadow might be something that we end up doing here. So let's Heat Factory first, then draw some cards. We could Mysterious Treasure. We need a Heat Factory first. Let's Heat Factory first. Very good. So we're going to B-String onto the active. Then we can go and Ultra Space for another Naganadel. That's cool. Another Naganade, I'll throw that into play. Then I can let loose, which is cool. All I need to do is just take two more knockouts. I have two fire in the discard pile now, I think. All right, two fires, that's fine. So we can put three fires down, which is even better. Yeah. Three fire down is even better. So let's do that. We're going to let loose. Um, I'm going to save the energy switch in my deck because if my opponent decides to Guzma and knock out something, like they try to finesse me, I ain't, I ain't having it. So, it's fine. This should be enough to take us there. Got charge up once, charge up twice, charge up three times. And then we knock out the active and should be good to go for game here. Especially with that beast energy in my hand, I only need two energy to knock out a Zapdos for game, so that's like really good. And we can mind blown this thing, get one, two, and three. No, leave that one there, one, two, and three. Leave one each on both of my Blacephalons. That's like really good. And then we should just get it here. I know. I agree. Blacephalon taking single prizes just feels horrible. I am like actively almost out of energy. Lost zone 10. We do have enough to clean this game up though. Especially with that beast in hand. Ultra Ball in hand too. I can Ultra Ball away that fire energy. Get another one into my discard pile. Bring it back. That should be pretty rad, right? 
We could even win with Naginatel. That's a good point, too. We could Beast Energy on Naginatel and Turning Point for game. Also, that's something I did not do at all this game, not going to lie. Didn't look out for my Turning Point turn. It's fine. <laughs> something I could have done, but, uh, well, well, oh, well. And eh, we didn't do it. I think I was just fine. I was so far ahead that I could just afford to attack with Blissephalons the whole game, and it didn't actually matter. Yeah, the new set looks cool. Definitely excited about it. Definitely some cool things going on. I know the Guardi and Sylveon GX also getting a lot of hype, as well as um, as well as Faramosa and Buzzwool. Though I do worry that the Faramosa and Buzzwool is going to be kind of unplayable with all these sup super good fire Pokemon out there. Right? Getting one hit KO'd by these fire guys just feels like really bad. So I don't really know if that's super big option but still a very powerful card for sure for sure this is going to be my last game guys then i gotta go and uh do some work for full grip thank you guys all so much for checking out the stream this morning it's been a great time for sure big thanks to josh zach and zach for the bits you guys are awesome thank you for all the subs as well really appreciate the support my guys and girls. It's been an awesome time. I'm going to be back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for the Full Grip Games Shop Tournament. So we're going to be doing that, streaming tabletop matches here for our Wednesday night league tournament. As always, should be a blast. Back to standard format this week. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about standard format again. After taking a little vacation here, to play some expanded these last two weeks. Looks like my opponent's gonna try and put the pressure on by using Tapu Thunder GX here for knockout on my Blacephalon or Sky High Claws or whatever. But we're gonna be able to get enough energy into play to knock that out. I can go, you know, charge up, charge up, and knock out with my beast energy. Pretty simply. So good game to my opponent. And let's get it going. Beast Energy, Ultra Ball. I mean, I have it right there, so I don't even need anything else. Charge up. And that's it. Mind blown. We could do like 280 damage this turn. Nuts. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out this morning. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm going to drop the remainder of my codes here in the chat. Big thanks to you, Zach. Big thanks to you, Zach. Top of the leaderboard, the bit leaderboard again. Thank you guys so much for the support and all the love this morning. going to drop the remainder of my codes here in the chat for you guys. Awesome morning stream. Big, big shout out to everybody who has followed the channel. Thank you. If you have not followed the channel yet, please drop me a follow uh, as well on YouTube. Just hit 41,000 subscribers on YouTube as well, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you to everybody who has subbed to the channel on YouTube as well. And thanks to everybody who supports the shop. You guys are awesome. And I will be back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, streaming our Full Grip Games tournament. Hopefully you guys all have a great day. Here's the last of my codes. All right. And we out here. Big thanks to the mods as well for keeping the chat in line. I know you guys can get a little rowdy from time to time. Let's see. Is there anybody out here worth uh, raiding on Twitch? Anybody live that I know who we could raid? Yeah. Nobody? All right. Oh, well, oh, well. Let's see. All right. Take it easy, guys. Y'all have a great day, uh, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Deuces.